Hey y'all, this is Joe from the porch out at St. Bernard Acres uh, in what is turning out to be possibly the uh, tropical rainforest of Southeast Ohio. Um, today's a beautiful day, but it rains so much that there's just so little we can do out here because of the rain. But just being out here, it's worth it. So I'll take the rain, I'll take the whatever, as long as I'm out here, nothing's going to bother me now. Uh, I wanted to wish everybody a happy and a safe 4th of July. That's what the day is, July 4th. Uh, and wish my son a happy birthday. Alex turns 26 today. First off, I wanted to talk about what the day is. Today being Independence Day, and uh, we celebrate, you know, the birth of our country. And I'm not sure how many more of these that we have left. Uh, at, at the rate we're going, there, there's just becoming less and less to celebrate as far as being. Uh, this country, you know, I hate to say it, I hate to admit it, but facts are facts. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with a quote, and <clears throat> this was said six months after signing uh, the Constitution. I'll quote him, and I'll tell you who it was. Sad will be the day when the American people forget their traditions and their history and no longer remember that the country they love, the institutions they cherish, and the freedoms they hope to preserve were born from the throes of armed resistance to tyranny and nursed in the rugged arms of fearless men. That's pretty profound and I, I I think that sad day that he predicted is coming through uh, where we forget our traditions we're not allowed to remember them uh, and our history and our love for this country and the freedom you know they're purging all of that and that's what we're going through right now I think is the purge of America. But those words were spoken by Richard Sherman. He was a lawyer, a, a statesman from Connecticut. And the only man that signed all four of the state letters for our independence. The Declaration of Independence, the uh, Articles of Association, the Articles of Confederation, and the Constitution. He was the only guy that signed all four of them. And uh, Thomas Jefferson talked about him, said he was very eloquent in his speech and never wasted a word. And just from that paragraph I, I quoted there, I can see that there wasn't a word wasted in that. Uh, what is wasted is the fact that we're not taught those values anymore in schools. We don't appreciate those values. We don't appreciate what we have. And we're not willing to accept the fact that we are facing a lot of the same tyrannies that we're facing them. Uh, and you know, after 240 years, I mean, <laughs> it, it's just gone away, and we, we we won't accept the fact it's going to take an armed resistance to this tyranny in hopes of bringing our country back to what it once was. And I, I personally believe it's too late. I don't believe it. I don't believe we can take our government back. I think what's going to have to happen 
it's going to have to collapse. There's the hummingbird. Uh, it's going to have to collapse, and we can start over again, maybe. If we go through this uh, event, maybe we can start it over, and we can do good. So those are my thoughts. I appreciate you listening. And I'll be back with more videos of building our tiny house out here and uh, trying to dry out this land. Uh, supposed to be no rain today, no rain tomorrow. So, am I, I mean, everything, every rut out here has staining water in it. That's how much it's raining. This stuff doesn't even get a chance to dry. You know, I'm worried with all the cement I put in these holes and the six by sixes, at what point does this start sinking? Because the ground is just so literally saturated. It's like it can't drain anymore. It's drained so much that the water is just standing, you know? Uh, and it doesn't get enough sunshine to even evaporate. But maybe this weekend it'll get a little chance to firm up some. As soon as we get it to firm up, we're going to regrade all this driveway and all this mess, you know? Uh, try to clean it up, but again, we have to... We have to let it dry enough to get firm. Right now it's just sloshing when you walk through it. Uh, and we're on top of the hill. We're the highest point in this area. We're up here and it's sloshing. I can't imagine down in the valleys. Hey, hummingbird. I can't imagine down in the valleys what their stuff looks like, what they're working with. Uh, it's just crazy. I'm going to enjoy some more time out here. This is Joe from the porch out of St. Bernard Acres. I'm out.